Hey, what's going on, guys? Moon here, and today I've just got well, a commentary with well, topic based really. Well, three topics I've got, probably can tell from the title of the video because I'm probably going to title it really long. First topic is PlayStation Network being down. I'm not really going to drag drag that on too much. It's been down for what eight days now. I'm doing the commentary. Um, I don't really mind because I've got to concentrate on revision. But sometimes, you know, you just want to go on Ultimate Team and maybe trade players and stuff and get involved in Team of the Week and that. But Unfortunately, we we can't do that. I could say I we the PlayStation users can't do that because things that happen. But hopefully they can work work hard and get it back up soon, and hopefully we can be enjoying FIFA again. And that's well, you'd say that's the main reason I be not be making videos. But I've been busy, as I said, guys. Got lots of exams coming up, so I'm not going to be making a ton of videos. But I'll try and get as many else as possible. Now the next topic which will take up the chunk of the video is Team of the Year. Now many Team of the Years have been announced. I don't think loads of them have been actually um what did you say qualified or officially announced sorry um but because people are still taking votes on that but the ones that stand out to me so far there's this team of the year for leagues like Bundesliga Premier League and that and then it's underrated and most improved uh, the ones that stand out for me is well as a Liverpool fan Pepe Reina is finally getting an inform he's going to an 87 um, Martin Kelly and I think it's about time he got an inform I know he's been injured but uh, the way he's been playing when he wasn't injured he was fantastic Martin Kelly's getting an inform he could either go to a high 70 or an 80 and the Muller is, is another one that I'm really looking forward to I was waiting for him to get an inform he's going to 84 so hopefully he will be relatively cheap you know cheaper especially on the Playstation I don't think you can find a cheap player on the Playstation but Either him too, and Larm as well in form, going to be an 87, so he's going to be more, a bit more expensive, but because he is a defender, maybe a bit cheaper, but he's a fast defender, and he's probably the best right back in the Bundesliga, so they're the ones that stand out for me personally, and then you've got the Serie A team, which I'm building at the moment, and this is the gameplay which you'll see from, and Ibrahimovic Neto getting an inform, both going up to 88, Schneider's getting an inform, I think he's going up to 88, Hamshik think that's another 88 and Pastore who I really like I wanted to get the 84 version and then on PlayStation he goes for about 150,000 for an 84 for Inform which is absolutely ridiculous because you get Inform Hamshik for 100,000 so I just don't understand the prices on PlayStation especially when you, you guys who are on Xbox tell me the prices I'm quite envious to be honest because those prices I would probably have a much better team than I have now and I would actually be able to afford Schneider, which I um, well, was working up to. And I was going to sell Eto to buy him because I had um, all, all my I had enough strikers to keep me going with Pato Ibrahimovic and Milito and Lovetsy. And so I was going to sell him, but then PlayStation Network went down. That was a nice goal from Pato. So, yeah, also another thing Liverpool, like in real well, real life terms, uh, uh, been tracking Lovetti apparently for a year and could be putting a bid in for him um, in the summer transfer window. And that'll be really interesting to see. And so, guys, if you want to see any of the team of the years, I'm going to link every single one in the bottom. And TOTY means team of the year. And I'll put like Bundesliga and then the link, and then you can go and view the link. I'll find them for you guys. I'll probably may. Yeah, I'll find them. I'll I'll edit. I'll edit the description when the video is uploading. And the final topic is the arguing in the FIFA community once again. FIFA community is a much clo much a close knitted, close knitted. Yeah, much close knitted than the um, COD community, which I did first start off as. But I've been really enjoying FIFA and sort of well, that's where my videos went. And I'm not going to commentate on it, guys, or comment on it because I don't think it's where I should really be commenting on. I'm just gonna go on with my own stuff, let them argue. Um, I'm not. I have. I have my views, but I'm not gonna get involved. And that's about it, guys. So if you could like the video, subscribe if you want to see more FIFA videos. And I'll see you guys later.